honestly, every good every good podcast starts with taking off the pants. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> That's the intro right there. <laughs> yep. Got it. Hello again, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to The Outlap, episode 0.2. I'm DriveThru, and yet again, we have another exciting show for you guys. This week, we're joined by What If Racing to hopefully become a regular cast member here on The Outlap. we got a lot to talk about this week, as usual. Ed Soundhead talks about his trip to Daytona and the good and bad of flying across the country to go to a NASCAR race that ultimately gets rained out. We're going to talk a little bit about Justin Haley and Spire winning at Daytona, and Ed's going to share his million dollar idea to improve the NASCAR fan experience for the lazy racing fan. Then we're going to do a little bit of science. We're going to debunk NASCAR on Instagram and how they fake the speed of the cars to try and entice more people to get into the sport. And then, of course, we're going to look at NASCAR Heat 4. Their new cover just came out. They put out some screenshots. There's a release trailer. We're going to take it all apart. And, uh, well, 704 Games, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I, I'm just going to apologize in advance. <laughs> I do hope you all enjoy the show. I won't. I got a pair of Brad Keselowski oh, sweatpants that were a gift, and I'm taking them right off. You have Brad Keselowski sweatpants? They were a gift. Do you have Brad Keselowski underwear? I do not. Ah, you're not no. a true fan, then. I guess not. Big fan. All right, so we can't start with Heat 4, but we're going to get to it at some point later on. Fuck Heat 4. That's let's, all you need to say. Let, let's start with, uh, Ed, how's your trip to Daytona? Oh, boy. You don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> Ed suicidal <laughs> after it. That's that's rough, dude. Okay, so imagine your trip being so bad that you're just like, I'm not going to any more NASCAR races for like three years. So Ed's um, Ed's gone to I'm... two NASCAR races now this season, both of which have been rained out, and he couldn't see the race the next day. Yep, both Cup dates have been rained out. Sucks. Jesus, sucks. what do you do? Like, did you, did you get a refund for your Daytona tickets? You or hate no? your life. Not yet. I can looking like i can do it i already uh, inquired about the uh the michigan tickets and i actually need to get back to them on that but yeah it's, it's pretty much the same thing for daytona you can just actually, are they going to no. give you cash or are they going to give you like a future no voucher? you exchange it for other tickets yeah for I other tracks the voucher, the voucher well, i think it's any up. any track owned by the same company oh, yeah okay. either isc or smi yeah i told him you should use the voucher and use it to knock the price off going oh. to the 500 next year do it. I don't want to go to. The, I'm done with Florida, man. I hate Boca Florida. <laughs> Florida I, got, I, got, I knew Florida was the worst state in America, but now I really know. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to Dude. see a great Xfinity race. I did get That's to true. see a great Xfinity race, and then that was a real nice, like, what, two hours, and then the entire rest of the trip was just balls. <laughs> I thought you said you went to the beach. You had some fun at the beach. I already that's that's a fair point. The like Didn't other hour and a half swim? that I spent in the ocean you was swimmed. Fun. I swimmed. Swim. <laughs> swim. He swam, boys. He swimmed. Yeah, and you also got food poisoning? I swam it in the ocean and then yeah, when I came home I, I got the shits. Oh, did you eat God. any airport food? I did not. In fact, no I pretty much sushi. fasted while I was gone. Interesting. Then how did you get food poisoning? What? Because I, I ate when I got like back and then. Oh, so, Florida, oh, so Michigan did it to you, not Florida. Well, yeah, but I, I still fuck Florida. Uh, <laughs> how about the hotel? What was the hotel? About, no, no offense to anybody from Florida. The hotel was uh, was was nice, but it was a bit of a, a weird situation as well, where our room was under construction. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? So, <laughs> how are you so, in there? Yeah, so uh, it it was a uh, it worked like it like it was. It worked. The room worked. <laughs> the room worked. <laughs> it had a roof and walls. It, it was think. a room. <laughs> But like the balcony, which was like one of the selling points of it, was like not even usable. What? Well, did you pay so full a... price for it? I honestly, I didn't. I didn't That's some garbage, it, though. That, so that... I have no idea. But they were just like, yeah, so uh, room's good, what? but you can't use balcony at all. Oh, what like, the what fuck the is Florida doing? Sure, you should piss on Florida the sucks. Honestly, 
Were you there for practice when when Brad dumped Byron? No, oh. I was not. I was still here when that happened. I didn't. I left on Friday. I traveled all day uh, Friday and then went to the Xfinity race that night uh, after it was done raining. Well, yeah. that's all. Well, how was um? Because on social media, a lot of people were on Brad's case about it. So I was. I was interested to see like I how think he they felt about that. Deserved to be. That was pretty. Uh... I think it was justified. I think curious. it was justified. Yeah. It was uh, no like understandable like. Oh okay. Be, yeah, uh, but also kind of. Uh, it's like it's it's kind of it's not great that he did it in practice, but then he just kind of doubled down and dug his heels in. <laughs> and I feel like that's well, maybe even worse. Up until race time, I was fine with it, and then during the race, he did the exact same thing that he dumped people for with like Kevin Harvick. He did that and yep. wrecked himself. And when he did that, I was like. You know what, Brad? Nah. Nah, nah. justice comes around. He he got what he was trying to give out. Is Rusty here? Rusty, are you here? Are are we recording a podcast right now? Yes. <laughs> Rusty, you're supposed oh. to be the excitement guy. You you breathe the energy into this. Well, <laughs> what what's your take on Justin Haley being a Cup Series winner? Oh, uh, Haley baby. Well, I, I Haley, Haley baby. baby. <laughs> that's my that's my. Uh, ever since he got robbed. Um, well, even even a little bit before that, but he got robbed last year, as you guys know, and uh, I've been kind of keeping an eye on him, and uh, because TV doesn't really give him coverage, nobody talks about him on social media. Partly due due to his own fault, but uh, uh, he's a good kid. I think the issue with the whole situation is Spire, because it sounds like they're kind of a starting part money deal as opposed to like a team that's trying to be their competitive. Um, and they they did the right strategy. I I was shocked that nobody else stayed out in front of them and uh they just lucked into a win uh so it was a slot but uh shot justin haley but kind of a weird weird deal for the sport everybody's kind of conflicted 50 50 mm -hmm. i i'm very i'm very surprised that like i don't know like will that would that win help the team actually become more serious and actually try no. or no. Don't don't There's they no have well, a whole lot of money? Room. Isn't it a like a big corporation with just a small it's, team? Yeah, it's, it's like a corporation it's, that does uh they they get sponsors. And stuff. It's like mar yeah, it's like marketing. It's like the KHI deal. You remember Kevin Harvick and They can't get sponsors for their own damn car. They're running blank schemes almost every week. Well, they're like a company that like get other sponsors for other people or something. Yeah. So it's they like how with, with like uh Kevin Harvick how they had the thing with all those people back in the early 2010s, yeah. where you you get they'd get sponsorship for people. It's like that. So are fans mad that like they've taken a charter just to make money start in parking, basically? I think that's what some fans are mad about. I know I've seen a lot on Twitter the past few days, like ever since he won yesterday, uh, people just talking about how Justin Haley won and how they think it's illegitimate. I don't think it's illegitimate, but that's that's what I've like just the rain shortened part of it that's what yep. most people are mad about for what i'm from what i've seen yeah i mean the fact that people are like excited for a big race and then they don't actually get it i mean i understand the passion because a couple years ago uh, when chris bush was like upset it's like he, he should, like he doesn't deserve to win i mean you just have to play the strategy you're just playing with the luck brain and yeah uh, well i'm i i at least really appreciate that they like they waited so long because I remember the 2014 uh, Daytona one with Al Marola, they just kind of threw right away. The only reason same, same it, in 2009. It's, well, I just, I just hate it when they call it so early, especially for Al Marola because it, it felt like such a conspiracy theory because it was Richard Petty's 30th year. So it's his last win and it was the same car. Uh, uh, people will always it's, find things to like it's a, pick no. around. It's a conspiracy. It's the same <laughs> number. Are you, you going to sit here and debate? That that stopped the number, for the oh same number. I, I have to bring up reference images now. Oh God, here he oh, goes. Oh boy. Oh, uh, we lost what if already. <laughs> Off the deep end. Man, fuck the charter system. Honestly, I, I on it. The, you, you, I hate it. it. Okay, real fast. Can, can we just acknowledge <laughs> that Justin Haley is a Cup Series winner before William Byron, Daniel Hemrick, all those people? <laughs> <laughs> Scrubs. That's yeah, it, it's like yes, but it's also no. What are you racist? Kind of like how Chris <laughs> was a kind of... Wow. Well, okay. He, he kind of got to give uh, Haley credit for how he handled the situation. Like he didn't like celebrate. Yeah, exactly. Like, pop and pee and, and like, celebrate and like won a Formula One. It was just like kind of smiles and hugs. Uh, he wasn't showboating about it. 
I like that. I mean, I mean, I mean, still, they still made the right call, though. I mean, they, yeah, they, I mean, they did what Kurt Busch and his crew couldn't do. That's true. I agree. Uh, I mean, the there's reason to celebrate that. I would he's say still, he's still a Cup Series winner. I mean, I don't care who, under what circumstances. If I want a Cup race, I'd be celebrating my dick off because that's... <laughs> it's classy, though. He's just like, you know what? Yeah, I won. You know, it's, it's not if like I, we... if that were to happen to me, I would literally just like insulted everyone. <laughs> <laughs> What's You're all idea? worse than me. You suck. Screw Goodbye. you guys. I retire. We're done. Can we talk about the fact that Daytona is zero out of ten because we didn't have a blowover? That was a hell you of a pileup, though. Them? Jeez, that was a like pretty big too? one. That was that was. I mean, when the two leaders were wrecking into each other, it you was know only, it was only seventeen cars. Debate. We can talk about who's fault, but nobody flipped. That. Nobody blew over. So uh, they're that was a Boyer fat doing. That was not Boyer's fault. It's kind of a racing deal. I mean, uh, Dylan aggressively. Yeah, I, mean, I will thing... say. So Dylan came down, and then Boyer, the air got sucked off the three's quarter panel, and that got him sideways, and then it was on from there. But, but I mean, Hamlin, lift? Hamlin made the exact same move like a few laps before, and because he didn't get yeah. blocked, it worked out great. So it makes sense it for looked... Boyer to do that, and then Dylan's like, nah. It looked like to me Boyer just made that slingshot so close to his rear rear end it like sucked uh Austin's car to the left as well. And by the yeah. time Austin got his car under control, Boyer like drifted right a little bit and that's what hooked him the second time. Right. That completely what, spun him around. That's what I think. Dude just lost. Yeah, I think it was a racing deal. I'm with Rusty. Uh, yeah, with no, Rusty I agree. Too. I I I can't well, put it I can't put the blame on Dylan. It's easy to put the fault on Dylan, but by the time Boyer made the move and Dylan couldn't react fast enough, it's just kind of a... He was, he was already out of control. Like, as soon as, as soon as Boyer pulls over and he makes that one move, he was already, like, losing it. Mm-hmm. So what about the Stenhouse-Kurt Busch deal, then? Stenhouse. I gotta Easy see that Stenhouse. again. Because it was kind of a similar situation, but with a much better result, whereas not everybody died. I think Stenhouse, that's all on Stenhouse, right? Because like, you're not going to lift his Kurt Busch on the bottom right there, right? No, Stenhouse went down to block as soon as Kurt Busch was already there, and then Stenhouse just kept coming and turned himself off the front bumper. Yeah, so that's on Stenhouse. That's on Stenhouse. Yeah, that's what I said. Easy Stenhouse. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot wait to hear the uncensored radio chatter from Kurt Boyer's. Uh, Kurt, Kurt Busch's Boyer. radio. Kurt Boyer. <laughs> there it is. My favorite Boyer. Well, Ed, Ed, Ed I want, actually, yours. I want to hear this. Talk to me about as you're like heading. I don't. I think you landed at the, the actual airport, but I want to talk to me when you first saw the track. Like, tell me the vision, the the emotion when you first saw Daytona. <laughs> All right, so I actually I first saw Daytona from an airplane window, uh, which was very cool. And in fact, that's actually probably it, that was like best case scenario, honestly, because I landed like on the correct side and everything. Like, I could see it from the window. Like we landed on the backstretch at that airport. Man, that's cool. Uh, it, that's it was light. cool. It was a really awesome view. Like you could see the like the beach off in the distance, like the the little the different hotels and different like buildings that are on the beach, like the the tall towers and whatnot. Wasn't it beautiful? Like it is. It's actually kind of beautiful to be honest with you. It was a, it was a cool sight. But uh, yeah, then we got off the plane, went to our hotel, yada yada yada, got all that out of the way, uh, and then we headed to the track around like. Did you bring clothes? I don't know. No, I went in the nude. <laughs> what kind of a question yes. did you bring clothes oh, I, yes. I, did you bring oh, up did you bring question. backup clothes backup clothes I, I, no <laughs> the way you say that well, I don't, oh, I, backup I clothes just want to make sure and arrived at daytona naked ladies and gentlemen <laughs> yes sir with no backup <laughs> yeah but i got at the track at like 8 30 maybe closer to 9 because with the rain and everything it was already delayed so we were like all right let's just chill for a minute we got ourselves kind of sorted out after landing and then we headed over and probably sat in the stands for a while too but uh before that we got there we parked had a hell of a time parking because with all the rain and everything like it was coming down pretty hard so a lot of the like parking like directing people were like taking cover and not where they were supposed to be <laughs> so we were just like driving around i bet we did like four laps of daytona around it looking for like where we we're supposed to park because we'd never been there before and then finally we parked like pretty much across the street in like this uh this big like shopping center parking lot wherever pretty much everybody else did it seemed like that was it was all free over there and so we drove we then walked which 
was in very fun. I was wheezing by the time I got over to the track because <laughs> chungus lifestyle. Did you do you have like the the cushion and issues? I was wearing a very nice pair of Nikes. Hashtag not sponsored, but it was it, I was very comfortable. No, you need like the gel on like the the, the feet the, because the that I mean, like, like Doctor Shoals yeah. or something like that. Oh, yeah, whatever. Tempur Pedic. Wait, no, it's a mattress. Do those Doctor Shoals are a mattress shoe? Basically. I use them for my work boots. Things. Like, I mean, I will, like, if I know if I'm going to be walking a lot, I'll usually make sure I have a shoe that has something like, like a foot cushioner or some sort of thing that's like, that softens whatever. But you just, you walk yeah. to the track and stay in the same place, right? Pretty much. Because when I go to CTMP, it's like, you, you can go wherever as long as you're in the infield. Or you can even, like, go to the outfield. You and can Daytona, walk all around the damn track. Like Road America. From yeah. what I remember at Daytona, it was kind of like, you America. could stay in the stands or... <laughs> You know, you can't really go everywhere like CTMP. Well, I can. I'll, I'll continue on with where I was going. So I walked there from. I walked from the parking lot basically to the, uh, to like the concourse. I guess you would call it like the outside area in front the of the. Uh, yeah, the injectors. Like we got to the gates. I took a picture outside the gate and tweeted it, and that's kind of how I told people I was there because I didn't. I, I kind of <laughs> wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> no. And it was funny because Rusty almost blew it in the chat like the day he before in private chat <laughs> dude i thought for sure that like you were joking when you said yeah, so did I. I thought there was like some stock image you found so i went and got a stock image of myself yeah i noticed that then, <laughs> i yeah, was like I wait was like, is caleb i thought you took i thought you took his photo first i'm like wait it's like slightly different what i know well yeah the the one i got was from like 2005 or something you could tell there's it was what was your caption well, on that I ed mean, I, I just did a couple. I did the like uh, the eyeballs, and oh, I the did like the hush eyeball. emoji. Yeah. <laughs> and then, no, and then he posted the picture of like himself in the track, and I didn't know it was him. I thought it was just some like random picture, <laughs> and so I posted that. And then at Ed Soundhead, he was like, "Uh, please delete." And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> and all of the replies were like, "Yo, meet up with IDK." <laughs> I know. And I was hiding in the shadows. I was in full, like, hide mode. <laughs> no one can Bro. see my even, face. No one like knows who I am. You're like a yeah, ghost. Like, yeah, like Tony Stewart. You show your exactly. legs of, like, what to yeah. look for. <laughs> they were all I showed my thumb. Yeah. <laughs> That's not much to go on. <laughs> but I want to answer. I, it's taken me, like, ten minutes to answer Rusty's question about seeing the track for the first time. But... All right, so I, I get there. I take the picture at the injectors and outside the gate. That was cool. They had a, they had Dale Junior's um, Homestead car from 2017 sitting out there. Oh, I, I love that. That. Thing. That, was, that was pretty. Cool. That's sweet. June bug. Uh, and then walked up <laughs> the Exalta injectors. Uh, and by the way, shout out to Daytona for having escalators and realizing that the NASCAR <laughs> fan base is very, very unhealthy. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. I like that. That's a good idea. So I really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah, got up there and I, I kid you not, I actually had like a kind of a, like a finally, like a, this is it. Like this was my Daytona moment. Like I walked up, we got to our section. We were in the, the very top part. Like it was like four sixty something in like the trial book club. So we were like all the way at the top, like on the end at like the tall portion of the, of the grandstands. And I like walked up these steps and like I could see it all. Like I could see mm -hmm. everything. Like I could see the the just it all. I could see the whole track. That's how I felt. Track. That's how I felt at Pocono. Yeah, keep it talking. Was just keep seeing talking. it, seeing it for the first time. Like you know, you watch it on TV for so long, and you play it in all the video games, and you do it all. But there's nothing like seeing it in person for the first time when you walk up those steps yeah. and like it just appears like it's just there like you're like this is where <laughs> yeah. so many things like so many things happen like i would look down into turn four this might sound kind of morbid i would look down to turn four i was like damn you know think of all the things that are like like think of like the big thing that obviously happened <laughs> yeah. down there like scott i'm Wimmer's like flip. i'm not that far from that where scott these things happen exactly scott Wimmer's flip. that's exactly what i'm talking about <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i was like man i'm right there and then like it was just like it, it was honestly a magical moment. It, it's hard to even describe, and I'm horrible at everything. What a gay things. moment! Well, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm smiling ear to That's ear. That's awesome. Yeah, listening to you talk about this because it is magical. It's electric. As soon as That's you like, you stupid. go through that little tunnel and you see the whole thing. You're it, stupid. It's... <laughs> no, I, remember... I see. That's it's like it's like 
this this is like hallowed ground. That's how I this feel is where the Pokemon. sports. I literally, literally yeah. really had sex with the track ones. What <laughs> are you talking about? All right, about? different experiences I'm hearing. All here. right, if, if uh, Pokemon so, didn't need to get nuked before, it does now. No, I. Uh, yeah. That's how I felt when I get to Pokemon. I literally like have a little tear down my eye and I cry. We're gonna talk a single about tear, a single tear. I remember. Your cheek. I remember the first time I went to Daytona. It was kind of like it was cool, like visualizing at, like all of these iconic NASCAR moments yeah. and like being like, "You're there. You're, you know, like Ed was saying, you're not that far from where all these like, iconic moments happen. You know, like near the backstretch, you're like that's where Kelly Arbrough and Don Donnie Allison. They all, you know, they had that iconic finish. You know, this they're is still where, fighting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is where <laughs> this is where Clint Boyer flipped it, flipped the dick off, and Kevin Harvick won the Daytona 500. You know, well, it's... one of the things, one of the first things I did because I was standing up at the top, like looking down, basically at the front stretch. You could see the whole track, and I was looking at the fence, and I was like, you know, I'm That's sitting Austin like hit. I exactly, I was cool. I was sitting right in front of like the fence area where Austin hit the fence a couple years ago, and I was like, damn, if I saw that. I'd be shitting my pants like here. Isn't that what you always wanted, though? Dude, no, he, saw, he, he did that after he got back from Daytona. Yeah, I, I saved that for later. I like bottled it up. <laughs> I oh, saw you the did? Kyle oh, Larson Jesus. Deal, and that was pretty, uh, pretty nutty. Yeah, I was dude, at that I don't race. Hope. It was crazy. I don't even know how I would like. Oh, yeah, the fan videos that. of that at the time were oh, insane. God. Yeah, dude. Just I remember like, my. What happened? Full on, like, Wait, wheel Kyle into Larson. the stands. Oh, yeah, my dude. Goodness. I remember. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that. Yeah. I remember. The, I was there for the nationwide race. I was sitting, like, right where Regan Smith got turned. That happened right in front of me. And I remember my dad sent me down to go see, like, Kyle Larson, that entire what happened over there. And the police just would not let people go over there. They were pushing people back because, you know, there was debris in the stands, stuff like that. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. I know how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. Cody, Cody's seen an entire car in the stands. The, those cops <laughs> are stupid, though. They should have let him get near it. Yeah, dude. The cops, the cops, they told us to go to one area. And then when we went to that area, another cop told us to go back to the other area. <laughs> it was like a back and forth thing. It was like, oh my god, get make your mind. I mean, it's a it's like an emergency. They're trying their best. They didn't want like anyone taking pictures of video. Meanwhile, the TV cameras up in the press box were pointed down right at it. Well, I gotta ask Ed, did you make your way down towards uh, Daytona USA and see the Earnhardt statue? I did not. I did not do that. Ah, uh, because by the Earnhardt time statue? like. With all the rain and everything, dude, and the humidity, it was it was so miserable. Like, oh. <laughs> like everything. Like until I was actually sitting in my seat and like soaking it all in, I was like, "This kind of sucks." But it was more of a Florida thing than it was a Daytona thing. Daytona is awesome. Florida, zero out of ten state should be new. <laughs> <laughs> except for we're Daytona. Gonna, we're gonna yeah, just leave Daytona out of it and get everything. What? Not Homestead? Yeah, I see. Like, Homestead. I see. New Homestead. Who needs Homestead? What about Disney Honestly. World? Oh, who, they're, they're too busy having brawls in Disney yeah, World. Yeah, they're too busy. No, Dis them. what about Disney World Raceway? What's wrong with you? They, 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 yeah, they, got, they, they already nuked that place. Yeah, that place <laughs> yeah dude. That, it, that driver I'm not got even joking. killed it's, there. Yeah, the instructor got killed. Because they drove backwards on it as an instruction course. Yeah, what a mess. It's literally Ooh. a gas station right now. I have, Who thought oh, of that? <laughs> Hey, let's take this track and just drive it completely backwards yeah. now. It's like designed safety wise and. Get surprised and God, it's, it's, it's so sad i mean they just like they just straight up ignored safety and then the guy died and they're like oh oh yeah we were running it backwards and it's like what i need i what's the story behind this here what, um uh, let me find it. walt disney world speedway they were running the road course and they had like a uh you know pay money to drive a supercar kind of like you know an instructor teaches you and and stuff were they running the road course, or were they just running the oval? No, it was on the road course. Okay. Should I? Let me find an article. Okay. <gasps> but, uh, yeah, basically just to uh, kind of put a bow on top of it all, it was uh, once we were actually there sitting in the seat watching the race once it finally started. Uh, I mean, I thought the race was pretty good. They had a few moments where it was like single file train, and I was I think I even got in our group chat, and I was like, what is this crap? And I was, <laughs> yeah. Maybe not that polite of language, but I was like, "This is what is this? And uh, luckily, they sorted it out after a while. And then the finish was kind of a, a, you know, it was not as high octane as I would have liked it. But Ross Chastain got the win, and I was very happy to witness that in person. And him breaking the melon, dude. That, yeah, and that I got whole to see him smash the melon. That That's was awesome. so cool. So it was good times, and uh, glad to see Ross Chastain get the dub. 
I love him. T- talk to me about uh, being able to see the entire pack live at Daytona. Like, tell me. Well, the first time they came by at speed, I, I nutted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically, all I can describe it is because when yes. they. They're because when they come on, because you know, and Rusty, you know, obviously know this because you've been there however many times. Yeah, right? talk to me, talk to they me. Come, they come they out come out of turn four and they almost they get a little quieter and then they come through the yeah. trial yes. and yes. then it's just like, <laughs> and you're like, holy <laughs> yeah. so, how is that noise going? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, so, they so, just come screaming by though, and it's the uh, greatest feeling in the world. Because it's been it's been a few years since I've been to Daytona. Is it like Talladega where like they'll be in turn three and you'll just like start to feel like that thunder in your chest and you're like, oh boy, oh lord, they coming. <laughs> well, you can hear them winding up a little bit. It's like, Whoa. oh yeah. <laughs> oh, but dude, the, like yeah, oh. it was nuts. It was, it was when I was actually got to see racing. It was incredibly enjoyable, and I love Daytona. Bummed about the trip itself, but the actual races or race was was enjoyable. And I'm two for two on Xfinity races, so I got that going for me. <laughs> Just zero for two on Cup races feels bad. It feels bad. Man. Did you uh, did you end up making a trip down towards like the? I don't know how close you can get nowadays to Daytona, but did you try to get down low towards the fence when the during the actual racing? No, because we were sat up all the way at the top, and I was like, if I have to go all the way back down again, I'm I'm gonna die in this humidity. So I just I just sat there, dude. I did. I was I was so miserable from all the just the heat. It was just so fuck Florida, dude. Honestly, <laughs> Florida. Honestly, um, get rid of it. Where's the air conditioning? That's what I'm up here. Yeah, well, they have. Yeah, it's when the cars <laughs> yeah. are going around, and there's yeah. that's. Yeah, you didn't can. you have a million dollar idea for uh, recommendations for NASCAR's future? I do. You want me to go into that? Oh, absolutely. All right. So this is actually this this is something I came up with because uh, I was down there with some family, and I was talking to them because the lazy race fan probably is is what I fall into. <laughs> uh, I am a very lazy race fan, and I was thinking like, how can I make this experience better? How can I make what just happened to me not happen again, but still enjoy a race at Daytona? So. I was thinking about it, right? And VR headsets, I just got one for context. I just got one a couple, like, what, a couple weeks ago, probably. And it's awesome. But I was thinking about this while I was in my hotel room on Saturday, waiting for the race to basically get canceled. I was like, how can we do this where, like, I can enjoy a race, like, like I'm at the track, but not have to be in Florida? Yep. And so I was like, VR is the future. I agree. They already do this in some places. I, I've heard of things kind of like this, maybe like baby steps toward this this idea. But if they did some kind of system where like you can VR, like like if you can just like it's almost I'm hard. I'm having a struggling time. I'm struggling to articulate this drive. I don't understand the shit out of this, but if they can make it so like i can put on my vr headset in this seat here in my home in michigan and watch a race in a seat at daytona and not have to spend eight dollars for a water bottle (laughs) and if that would be ideal that would be fantastic for the lazy race fan that could also be another area where you could generate revenue because you could make that like a subscription based thing you could make it like some kind of like wwe network or something like that if you really wanted to if they're really hurting for the money that bad you could do that because they're going to want to make profit off that somehow because they're going to lose money by people not actually showing up. But then you also, if NASCAR wasn't totally in the shits right now, you could t- theoretically have a bunch of people show up to the track and then even more people could tune in in VR and be like they're at the track from their own home. I'm, I'm 100% with you and I've always I've shared this excitement. I, I'm, I want this to happen. And I think the NBA has started in this direction, but you can't watch live vr courtside i think they share like the uh the games like the day after and you can watch in vr but like and i think it, part of it it's, it's like like you kind of said it's a broadcasting expense issue licensing issue maybe for uh, so you can't tune in live but like if you were as a race fan that's the dream is to feel like you're in the stands even um i, I saw a couple years ago you could you could hop around from different cameras like they uh, they posted them at Daytona even for the 500. Like you could be standing like on pit road. You could be up in the stands. You could be on the backstretch to feel that first person view. And I think that transcends the whole viewing experience for NASCAR because when you see NASCAR in person, that 
instantly makes you into a hardcore fan, in my opinion. So I, I'm 100% with you on that, and I wish they would push that direction. And they've kind of started like this augmented reality, uh, but it's more geared towards advertising as opposed to fan experience. So I feel like if they went in this VR direction in support of VR, it, it could because they got the, the this young fan base could totally just get into it and engage with it. And it's just transcendent, in my opinion. And that's the, that's the way to do. That's the way to go. I'm with you 100 percent. And uh, thank you for bringing that up. Right. That on. idea sounds like shit. What? <laughs> The VR. Caleb, you live to you live by a bunch of short tracks. You can get to a short track fairly easily. You don't have to blow a bunch of money to go down there, have it rain out, and then be pissed and come back. Yeah, dude, miss the race. I would love I that. Do. I would, I would love absolutely pay for that. On VR and not have to be in that hellhole, Florida. <laughs> nah, and I I agree with you. That's something. I, I would honestly, I would pay, literally for the five hundred, especially. I would almost pay a ticket price to be able to like go where I want to go first person and be immersed like that. Like I know there's a lot of ways you could do it. You could um, could charge like a ticket price. You could do it like subscription based, like a network does. Like I said, WWE network. I think NASCAR needs to ex- explore that route when their TV contract is up. I really think they need to go yeah, seriously. to their own network. I know this. like a lot of people already agree with this, but if, if they have like their own, like, it, like literally just look at what the WWE network yeah. and just an MLB and that even F1 now. I know, and and so many different, yeah, exactly. Well, you know F1 how much, even how much money that could save people because you know, you know how many people have to have like cable, like TV, like a package just to watch NASCAR, like That's nothing me. else. Exactly, and yeah, then and then like, some people have it, and then TV doesn't even put it on. Yeah, like that was a problem yeah. too. Like they just straight up opted out of of the coverage on. Sunday. Oh yeah, I saw that. Like Direct TV, they just didn't do it. Yeah. I saw <laughs> yeah. That. So I really, I I really hope there's some some future. Maybe we can come back in, a, in ten years or so and see this and be like, hey, they actually did it. Or we could be like, damn, why didn't they do it? Why is NASCAR dead damn. now? <laughs> yeah, why is, <laughs> remember, remember, remember when NASCAR was still a thing? <laughs> hey, you guys remember when NASCAR was a thing that existed? Matt Tiff is a NASCAR champion. Oh, Justin oh. Haley's a NASCAR champion. <laughs> Turns out this Daytona win propelled him into a complete career success. He was the first eight-time <laughs> yeah. champion, and he was killed. Yeah, so what they do in the future is instead of <laughs> instead of the final four, they just pick out a race, and then whoever won that one's the champion. And they it'll just be draw names Done. out of a hat, and if you get drawn, you're the champion. They run well, a simulation in it in 2003, and then... So yeah, the it'd, be, it'd be <laughs> iRacing. What if in <laughs> 10 years, Nakos is bigger than NASCAR? <laughs> Nakos <laughs> VR experience, let's go. There you go. I had the opposite issue of that whole TV thing a while ago. IMSA used to be, like, I think they were only picked up in a few countries in terms of networks. So any country where they're not on TV, they just stream it for free on their website. It's amazing. Like, straight up 24 hours of... of Brilliant. Of whatever. Awesome. I loved it. I would watch, like, most of those races. And then Discovery Velocity picked it up in Canada, which is like another Discovery channel, but more for like those bad car shows when they're always like, we only have two hours to build this thing. But they also have IMSA races. So I will have to, if I want to watch the race now, buy a cable like box, subscribe to a a big enough package that has this weird ass channel so I can watch the same thing with commercials like every few minutes and that ladies and gentlemen is how you turn your fan base to illegal streaming <laughs> I, I, love I mean i just dis- i just don't watch imsa anymore <laughs> just straight up i'll go or how you make your fan base disappear <laughs> why would i wa- why would i do that i don't i don't want to yeah, that's how i watch penty's races is just the <laughs> illegal streams that i find on like reddit or something it's on like, fans choice fan. dumbass it's free. Those stupid shows where they have to build a car in two hours. <laughs> that was the downfall so years of Speed Channel, man. That was all they oh, had on. on there. It's it, that's what it still oh, yeah, is. Like they still have that in this country. Car shows. It's called, it's called, oh, that's right. You still have Speed. It's not called Speed. It's called uh, Fox Sports Racing. Fox Sports One. Fox no, we don't have racing. we don't have FS1 or FS2, so they just put the races on there. So I can... NBC Sports is basically NBC Racing at this point, though. I mean, is they, it? <laughs> they, they mostly cover motorsports. Yeah, you got IndyCar, NASCAR. Um, I know they're trying to get F1. You have. Yeah, I heard they were making a bid for F1 from ESPN. I don't know if I think the thing is is that ESPN actually did a job. Where they let somebody else do it, and they just broadcast it. I love that. That's great. And and ESPN no commercials. Right and I no wish I could get that. In they my got country. some sponsorship. Go figure. Can't do that well, here. 
and and the graphics like what like the dude, whole like thing that, 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 is phenomenal i love it dude like the whole thing like how they have the speed on the halo stuff like that that's so cool. that's fancy dude so their whole presentation is just amazing but the and that's that, because that's central that's not up to you know sky sports or bbc you know like fox does their graphics nbc does theirs no f1 does it yep yep yeah. and, and it looks and amazing that's, I think, and that's what concerns me is because do we trust nascar to be able to, no. to do that as no. successfully nope. as f1 has i don't and even exactly. i don't even trust no. f1 to do it. the fia is like conglomerate well fia fom yeah. two different things well, yeah. the, from what I've heard from the broadcast, F, uh, the FI determines like when they show like replays. So that's why you don't always get like an instant replay of something that happens on the track. It kind of takes a while uh, for them to broadcast. They did a cool thing. I love, I love their YouTube channel. They put so much stuff up on there. They had a, oh, they had a dead like NASCAR's YouTube. <laughs> oh, I have. The they had a behind the scenes thing where they played like the director's mic during Germany of last year when Sebastian Vettel crashed and he's like just queuing up all these people and all these different cameras and telling them to cut wherever. It's amazing. It's such a great little like little piece of insight. I wish NASCAR would do stuff like that and, and care about their YouTube and you know. Hey, should I uh should I drop one more little nugget in that VR discussion? Oh yeah, go for it. Yes. So you know how we got the helmet cam? Oh boy. That's right. VR inside the car. I want it. You I, heard I, it here first. You I thought about here. this. Make it happen. As you were saying, the whole VR thing. Yes, but also no, because it's so shaky. Because it's literally on the guy's head. I think if you did, like, you know, the 90s style cameras when they put it, like, in the passenger side and it could, like, move around? Literally. That was cool. I miss those. Those were so sc- Just stick a 360 cam, like, in the passenger area, and then you're good. That's it. You don't need the stupid side cameras, which I hate in NASCAR. And you can just look in any direction. And you can you can also see the driver at work, but then you can look in front of him, see what he's looking at. You can look behind him, see who's looking to make a pass. That would be amazing. I, I hope we get to a point in technology where that kind of stuff comes standard. Like I hope the uh the, the helmet cam that they've been using like that like that needs to be in every car. Oh yeah. That, that, that needs to be on every single driver. Because it's so cool when it's like like Indianapolis last year. Who was it? Uh Kurt Bush Kurt when he Bush, dodged yeah, that wreck. Kurt got Bush. demolished. Or no, he, he, he tried to dodge and then got <laughs> collected. That was so cool. Got absolutely destroyed. Yeah, like imagine was... that from like Ryan Priest in the 500 when he just barely uh, avoids Imagine being wrecks. Austin Dillon in 2015. I was with gonna say, yeah, oh, Austin Dillon's wreck. <laughs> <laughs> That's hot. Or uh, Ryan Newman from the 2009 Aaron 499s finish. Just Carl Edwards just coming right at him. Or Ryan Newman oh, when Clint Boyer nuts. punched him in the face. <laughs> 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 well, can, can we get like a twitch twitch stream where the drivers can see the chat like on like their digital oh my page? god <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks for the donation out, thanks for the raising. bits a bunch of <laughs> tony 2008 when he like goes oh to block god. it's like what the fuck are you doing like, <laughs> oh my god oh boy could you imagine this though from, what? From one of, Dude, you what imagine the... just how much useless shit would be on their dash just from like Twitch <laughs> trolls. Oh my god. <laughs> 69 terabytes of gay German porn on the digital dash. Oh, here we go, go again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> imagine it's like whatever lap and like they're like, hey man, you gotta shout out this guy. He just super chatted you two dollars. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, imagine happy. they win the race, they get out after. I'd like to thank all my uh, bit donators and <laughs> <laughs> Thank Noob. all the guys back yeah. at the shop. Noob Smasher think, uh, 69. Thanks you for yeah, the highest uh, uh, bits. Yeah, I gotta thank XX420 Noob Rex <laughs> XX for super chatting me eight dollars during the race. I wanna <laughs> thank <laughs> thank you to Barry McCockinner for uh, four dollars and twenty cents. Here's uh, what, here's oh, what I'm saying. Uh, fuck the sponsors. People sponsor the cars now. <laughs> the damn viewers. Yeah, yeah. Easy. There We're done. Go. Well, we could do that for Bubba, but they don't want to. They don't want to act like a charity. Like, come on, lo- like we want to put that thing on the like on a competitive level. He's too busy playing here. football with the fans, man. Get him out of here. Can't have all these sponsors. That was cool. Too busy. Yeah, honestly, they're too busy. They're too busy shutting down to get sponsors. <laughs> Dude, he's better than Odo Beckham Jr. at this point. Hey, he made that, that catch. Yeah. Oh, that is was, it yeah. a bad thing if Bubba Wallace's career highlight is a football catch? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's okay. Oh Corey LaJoy is his football throws. 
I loved when Fox did that at uh, Michigan. Yeah, they had the had, like, uh, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's like, pretty cool. Completion rating and then. Wait, didn't Cole Walsh win at Eldora? Wait a minute. Uh, 2014. There you go. All right. Eldora. Dura. Well, that, the foot, 50, the football Toyota catch character. comes second. Then. Yeah, the Toyota. Does his uh, second place Daytona 500 finish come third then? Yes. <laughs> I mean, at least his career highlight isn't getting punted out of the lead of the Daytona 500 by Austin Dillon. Look at or you, winning Eric. a race. Or a rain-shortened race. Yeah. Or winning because your teammate ran out of fuel coming out of... T- Imagine winning a race because somebody else went to pit road and then a bolt of lightning happened eight miles away and then all of a sudden you win a cup race. No, no, no. Other way around. The bolt of lightning happened, then NASCAR calls the one to green, and then they're like, wait, no, actually it was close enough. Sorry. <laughs> Dude, I would like file a protest if I was Kurt Busch. Why can't TV cameras capture this sense of speed? Just watch this video. It's loud, by the way. Yeah, no, I'd mute it. Oh, look how is... fast oh, they look. Imagine look that, but you look. in your chair in VR turning your that ass is, around. That is my favorite sound. Dude, end. this is so hot. I love this. Oh, man. Like, in, like the infield shot of a pack going by is oh. the best sound in NASCAR fight. Look how, like, look how fast they look. They look Dude. like they're flying. <laughs> Dude, oh, oh my god. <laughs> right, Guys, well, Rusty needs new underpants. You gotta, you gotta put this Dude. on the... Rusty Wait. just creamed over there. Wait, oh. I thought we took our pants off at the start of this thing. <laughs> oh, my pants have been off all the time. <laughs> my, my pants are gone. Long gone. Dude. <laughs> How can you watch this video and not be a NASCAR fan? Oh, That's the real question. God. Oh my good. Who watches this video understand. and is... Oh, that's Dude, tasty. Dude, you hear that? You hear that sound of like the pack just rolling through the corner? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Can we just oh have like god. a mass, a, like a massive cream session right now. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! There's, there's a reason. Uh, Who they, needs they, gay German porn when you have this? <laughs> Daytona will always be that. That's that's number one in my heart. I, Pocono. I, <laughs> Shut up! <what laughs> if? <laughs> if everybody creams himself in the outland, does that mean it's a shrimp cocktail? <laughs> that means the show's <laughs> over. <laughs> that means that. Thank think you all for watching. That. And it is done. Yeah. Cut the feed. Why do they look so fast? Wait, right, this is the official that. NASCAR account where yeah, they get yeah. this from. Wait a minute, is this sped up? I think it's So they just no, sent some asshole up. with a phone to like turn it's things on an actual media person. Person. Yeah, it's a phone with like five attachments or something. Probably we, some social media person. We got to get that on the actual broadcast because that's. Dude, that's so badass. Oh. VR NASCAR. VR experience. VR NASCAR, man. It's the future. They do those infield shots every now and then, but not nearly as frequently enough as they should. Remember that drone that they never used to Oh get? my <laughs> God. Oh, the one at Talladega? I hated the drone. I hope it crashed into Lake Lloyd. <laughs> what? Oh, dude, it. Are... It, oh, was it, like worst, it had like the worst picture ever, too, dude. It was yeah. terrible. Like, you would like literally see the All pixel. Right. It was just weird. Never it was mind. like, who asked Never for this? Boys. Why do we these have this? These are totally sped up. Well, look at this one. This, these are totally sped up. These are no... <laughs> There's no way this is normal speed. Oh, yeah, that's sped up. That's sped up. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. man. Look at them down the back, Strange. Wait, what? It looks. It almost looks like a video game, to be honest it, with you. It, I, I think it's Not a combination four, of like the sure. stabilizer effect. Like it just feels. Is kind it of... sped up? Yeah, it is sped up. I think it's Rusty's on to something. I think it might actually be like a warp stabilizer that's doing this. I don't. Well, I, I think they're zooming in the camera uh, through the editing. Pro- well, I don't know because it's so focused. On when they just... I don't think it's edited way. at all. It looks like a phone thing. But why is it? Why does yeah, it look like better, they're going, it's, it's like, look better, at them entering better. three. Oh, it's my God. Sure. It looks like they're going, like, 300 miles per hour. It's better. All right, we got to do some math here. Like, we got to take this thing apart yeah, and look yeah. at, like. But, like, so, like these are high-powered cameras, though. I don't know. The more I watch it, I don't know if it's sped up or not. I don't even know what's going on anymore. All right, all right, real fast. Drive through. So how long is a cup car? And then just take that and. Hold on. Let me open up Google Maps real quick. I'm going to measure the distance between two poles and see how many frames it takes for these guys to fly. I, I think the I think and what's I happening is they're zooming in and it looks ridiculous. Like, you know what I mean? I agree with Ed. The more I watch it, the less sped up it looks. The first half looks sped up when it turns and pans to turn I, three and the 
camera stops, then it looks like normal speed. I think it's also possible that that's just such a good camera angle that the sensor. I think it's an optical illusion. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, they're zooming in as they're hitting that like transition point with the camera. Like it's like as the cars are starting to turn left towards yeah. the camera too. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just a perfect optical. Is there reason. zooming in? I don't know that it's zooming in as much as it is just panning. No, it's not zooming in. I think the zoom is staying the same, but the cars are coming at you. Like a lot of I people don't, zoom I don't know. out. That's it is a we, it's a weird it's I think optical okay, here, probably is the best word for this. It is weird looking. So so like they there's going so much faster. Dude, but th other. This camera's back on the whole uh, front stretch, probably from on top of the tower. Though. Okay, so if the poles are forty meters apart. All right, and it takes a car. See, now that I've seen that second angle, the first one is more believable. Okay, so if we're running at 30 frames per second, it takes them nine frames to go 40 meters. <laughs> right? Right? Listen, that makes sense. This fucking math was over here. Hold on. The, here, this. That means that I, they're I, going on. 12 meters a what second. What a right? nerd. So, so if I go 12 frames. meters per You're second to, Americans, by the way. to miles per hour. Wait, no, that's wrong. It says they're doing 26 miles per hour. <laughs> you Hold got on. it. Matt, the way we go. <laughs> Just call it Dr. Drive. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We got it. 26 miles per hour, isn't that the exact same speed that Ricky Bobby went after he got injured? 26 miles per hour? Wait, no. Illuminati Distance divided by time. Are those the other cars? The is confirmed. Distance divided by time, right? Are those Nobody, the other did, cars? Didn't he drive the 26 car, though? It's all. It's he a, did. Oh, my God. There it is. There it is. Illuminati confirmed. And then he drove the 62 later that. Oh my god. We have cracked the code, ladies and gentlemen. Live on the album. Back 2020. Oh, oh, they're going to use PJ1 on Kentucky. Means they're going 133 meters per second. There's no way. Yeah, that has to be sped up then. It means they're going 298 miles an hour. Yep, sped up. Sped All up, right. confirmed. Confirmed. 150%. It still looks damn good, though. Yeah, because it's sped up. It looks hot. Cause Cause uh, this has been my complaint. They need to sell the speed and just the experience yeah, through social media, and they haven't been doing that. Well, yeah, because if you look on TV, they don't look like going that fast, and then you go in person, and you're like, Jesus Christ, they're flying. Can we just roll into Heat 4 at this point? Because I, th I think that's what we all really want to talk about. Oh. NASCAR um, Heat 4 is going to be a disappointment and a half, and we already had super low expectations. That tells you all you need well, to know. Um, I mean, for me, it's just like they not only was a complete like just letdown because they already revealed the cover a day before through somebody else on Twitter. And then on the actual release day, they just they did the cover and then that was it. <laughs> it's like last year they did like the actual trailer, too. So I, I thought it was I thought we were expecting something. But like when you're not given anything to go off of, or at least at this moment, there's nothing really exciting to, to look forward to like it's almost like they have nothing in store and it's just not a good feeling when you're promoting something and I th you don't tell us what's going on also last year the cover looked good yeah I mean, that was <laughs> last year there's, all, there's also <laughs> that yeah it was it was completely badass last year is that tony that is tony tony why Stewart is he there uh because oh, um you can drive it you can drive his him in the dirt yeah so they're going to put him yeah. with a headset on there? What? Yeah, who knows. I yeah, thought it was his crew chief for a second. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's like, cool. So, they're giving so, a nod to like more than just yeah. the driver. But it's like, nope, it's the, Tony for some reason. The more the more what? I look at it, the more I dislike it. It doesn't I'm make any it's sense. Such a, it's such a weird selection of images to like just mash together. What is this it's like? It's got. Is that supposed to be like, like a crowd too, audience too like slid across the screen? No, those are those are, those are two cars. They're, they're, they look like two cars that are just motion blurred. I don't think it's hell. cars. I think it's like I don't grandstands. Know, I, I can't even make out what it is. Why is it there? Like they needed <laughs> something to bad. separate Harvick from the cars, and they just threw that in there. It's really. It looks like something some kid on Twitter put together. <laughs> like, it honestly looks fake. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Especially the way it's yeah, like I mean, Harvick I, and then like Boyer just kind of peeking out he, there. Why is he there? <laughs> Could you not you get a picture of just head, Harvick's like, car? Oh my god. You're right. <laughs> you hit the nail on the head, though. It looks like a fake. Is it does. Like, it really does. That's so off-putting about it. Like, it doesn't even look like a genuine cover. Yeah, and why are his I, I, eyes like that? See. It looks like he's looking up at like... 
Like, <laughs> why? Oh my God, you're right. How did we get here? Yeah, yeah. Heat three's cover was so professional. You could tell it was professional. That was sweet. It looked cool. It looked fantastic. Yeah. Can we look at the NASCAR eight three cover just for reference? Yes, absolutely. So, okay, how about you try to uh, break it down and like analyze it and like compare okay, it to so in terms like, of like in oh. terms of like how they did the detail on things so, or at least attention to detail here. because we got it. We got to make sure the here audience we go. knows. So like on. down there, you have the four cars. They're clear. You know, That's you got so man. This looks so nice. Look at this. Dude, this is this is oh, like it's a badass. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, my god. And and they've cover. like they've they've desaturated everything except for the cars. The cars pop and it's got the cool like the catch fence and the grandstands are all spread out across the side. It's got this yeah, intense it, angle to it. That is a mean looking cover. And then you got all the four drivers who look intense except for William Byron who just looks confused. <laughs> it's a little, little bit weird on that choice there. But other than that, like Oh god! Just going from one of the wow, that bit yeah. before and after. Yeah. God, yeah. Oh my god! I it's Let's, like they I'm tried gonna... to put stuff in the sky to sort of fill in the space, and they're like, sure, I guess we'll put Tony there. I'm just gonna get the Jeff Gordon version and call it a day. It looks like Tony's dead, and they're like remembering his ghost. <laughs> He's just <laughs> yeah. kind of like back there. Yeah, it looks no, like it... some of those like meme images of like Dale Earnhardt hovering over Talladega, like or Daytona, and he's <laughs> yeah, like no. he's like transparent and like the ghost. Maybe not, like no, the narrative in the game. Tony Stewart dies of like obesity. Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah the, it's the ghost of Tony Stewart's career. Oh, and it's like God. it's clear that they've like cut out his sunglasses and replaced whatever reflection was in them because it's like totally low quality. <laughs> Why is it so blurry in his glasses? Oh my but god, look, it's look, like, if you go back to his glasses, isn't that like the start of a pit stop? Like, it um, is, yeah. So why is it yeah, blurred? Wait, 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 why do they blur his... What? For 10 out of 10 reflection. You know what? Honestly, that's better than the reflections they have in the game. Also, let's so let's okay. think for a second. If <laughs> <laughs> That's the shot. You can see there's a car there in a pit stop, right? So is, if Tony's above looking down at the car, where's the camera? I'm confused. I don't know why they had to cut that out, but I'd like to try and dig and like maybe find that exact picture of Tony Stewart and see what it actually was in his glasses. At some point, maybe. Anyways, uh, along with the disgusting cover, they put out some screenshots, which should be fun and easy to. Oh, that <laughs> looks at. terrible. It's not that, that bad. Looks... All right, th this isn't that bad. No, that looks awful. This. I'm just confused that like they have like cars that aren't like. On the track, like the Trevor Bain one. Oh and, boy! Uh, oh, I don't know. Like this, like that was that history. was just lazy. Well, it's like I mean, I get it. Some things could be like pre-alpha, but like when you're putting pictures out there, like why would you have stuff that's very easily seen in the Dude, shot? Dude, in the, like, in the video eight? trailer, like the BK racing car and the the ninety two and, and the Trevor Bain car are like and front fusion. and center and the fusion on the like, Mustang fusion. body. Like yeah. if you do that, just hide them like deep in the pack somewhere. They've made cars. They clearly have the cars. Why couldn't My you question just put those is there? if you look back, why does Jimmy Johnson's car have literally no reflection on it whatsoever? It does, it There's... does, under the headlight. No, it I think doesn't. they did a decent job in this photo at least. Of also, getting like the matte one yeah, car shout out, and the shiny shout out Jimmy to the car. Reflections on a matte car, by the way. That, yeah, it looks I okay. I like the look of the look. I like that. Eh, it's a little too pronounced. But if we, if we move on, now now we get into the. <laughs> all right, all their, I would say this: all of their night screenshots look terrible. This but the is one, so those, bad. Yeah, like it's, look it's, at the it's, windshields. It looks. Like, it looks this yeah, is at night. It looks like they're going out from under a bridge, and there's just bright sky in front of them. Why oh is it God, just you're right? right. It's you're just right. It all looks of like the cars. Been under a bridge. Oh my God. Oh boy, yeah, like it is the ones gross. In the, the Xfinity series in daytime, like those pictures, look really good. I like them. I didn't. I've never seen this one. Huh. This is interesting. Did they run the? See that one looks better. Yeah, that the reflection. Like that now the reflection yeah. looks good. I think that this looks nice. supposed to be matte, though. I think that's a matte wrap. It is. In it is a matte wrap. Which one is? Yeah, it is. The forty-one. The floor. The floor well. Yeah. It's not. And glossy. yet they're using it's this like to show they, off the reflections, huh? What it almost seems like is it seems like at some tracks they got the lighting Wait, really good, and at some they just got it. Where's really, the Where's really the awful. grill inlet? Where does the air go in the car? 
It's under the uh, under the Mustang. Wait, part. what? Yeah, but but there's no hole. <laughs> the, there literally is no hole. It's just He's a right. sticker on it. Yeah, but but hold on. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're you're actually right. What did it? What? Where's the hole? Like where where does the air go in? I know that's a super speedway car, but like speed, speed, speed. there there's a yeah, hole like, there. Yeah, there's literally none. <laughs> like, uh, well, uh, that engine's uh, not lasting very long. Like air has to get in the car. Look at this. This is what the Take car looks off. like. That's <laughs> not that's not real. Yeah, that's it'll be scary. like yeah, it'll be like lap four, and it'll be like I'm pushing two seventy water. This is speed. what it looks that's, like. <laughs> that is a step beyond taping it off solid. That's literally just what <laughs> what. <laughs> There's nothing there. Even on the beard car, there's nothing there. Well, the beard car is accurate. That's how it actually looks on the track. No, they have a hole in the front. Jumps anyway. No, it doesn't. Look it up. It just kind of looks on. like really super impressive. Really, look up uh, Brendan Gone from this year. He had the Camaro text and everything on it. 2019. Yeah, but there's still like, hold on. They got the. There's still. Mm. Yeah, there's still something there. I don't see it. Yeah, right there. Oh yeah, that's right. You can there, see yeah. it. There's oh, there's yeah. still a friggin' grill inlet. Like there, you can't have the decal cover the whole thing. I don't understand what happened. Did is that like that in all of them? Oh my god, that's gonna bother me so much now. I hate that I've noticed this. <laughs> is it like that in NASCAR Heat Three? Oh, I, 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 I bet. Noticed? If it is in Heat Four, it's gotta be. Look up NASCAR Heat Three and just look real fast. I want to see if that's just something I, that's been I hovering under our noses. I bet it is. Yeah, now that we think about it. Oh, yeah, now god. that I think about it, there's not an That animal. sounds like nitpicking, oh, but that's like but, literally... Oh, oh my god. Geez, Why is there no... not even there. Why is there no air going into the car? <laughs> what is my... You know that little temp warning that shows up sometimes? That should just be on 24-7 <laughs> when you're playing NASCAR E3 then, because there's literally no no entry for the air. I can't believe we didn't notice this until now, Why, and this is going to ruin me f like from now oh. until forever. Also, NASCAR remember the audience. Different. It's not us. I don't think it's us. It's the no, NASA. absolutely not. But can they not just at least put a black square on it? Literally, it's it's literally just a part of the template. It's so easy. Oh my god, it's kind of I don't know. We are nitpicking, like super super heavy nitpicking. But yeah, if no they're one, gonna like, put like the little the camera and antenna details and stuff, how did they forget this? They put enough attention to detail to make sure to leave the monster logos off. That you think they could have thrown a little cut yeah. in the grill? Also, yeah, literally, right. just get like the the square select tool. That's all you gotta do. The rectangle select tool fixed. Oops. This is literally a part of the template too, right? So you can just cut that out on like one, and it should go to all of them. Like oh, that doesn't God. seem like it would be a very difficult thing to do. I gotta say, details in this oh, are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Look, look at the the Larson car has no reflection because it's the Mott finish. They, they Mott? Good here. The what? The <laughs> what finish? What an idiot! You don't, you don't say Mont. Okay, shut up. Nobody shut up. says that. Nobody. It's not a regional yeah, thing. That's just not a thing. <laughs> they have yeah. they have weird details in this though. Like Stuart Haas, weird detail paints above the splitter black, but Penske doesn't. And they have that here. Like they've done that, but they can't put holes in the damn grill. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I would put this screenshot right here. I think this, this is looks great. Probably by the looks of things, yeah. This this goes yeah, this in good. the good. This goes yes. in the good pile, especially because you've got the the Mott Forty Two over there. <laughs> the Mott. You do, you do have the Mott Forty Two. But the sky reflections look nice. The fact that it says Brad on the hood of the two is really throwing me off. I didn't even off. realize that was Brad's car until I realized yeah, it was Brad. it's not Brad's car. <laughs> Brad. That's so ridiculous, dude. <laughs> Oh my God. Imagine good, being though. scared to put Miller Lite on the hood. No, this, I'm not. this is a good way to show off the Mustang. Yeah, yeah that looks that really good. good. It does. It. Well, it's like some pictures are really good and other ones are like. Oh, now this. That that's that's, 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 that's like yeah. one of the best ones. Yeah, that this looks really good. This is okay, but this one. Wouldn't you like, see the catch fence and the reflection of here? Hey, on the look at the grill. Look at the grill. Wait, they have grill. Wait, what? Oh, what? Wait, 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 wait a second. What? Oh my god, the Xfinity cars have airflow. The Xfinity, Xfinity cars, cars air need engines. air, and cup cars don't. That's what we've learned today. This is science. <laughs> Maybe the cup cars are pre-alpha. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, but... The pre-alpha footage in, in trailers, too. What? Am I the only one who thinks that's a boneheaded move to put pre-alpha uh, footage? Yes. It, no, you, know, you can do in it... In your promotional material? If it looks good. F1 does it. It looks good. Great. Perfect. I'm happy with that. They well, also this, have a... At least they say launch, it's pre-alpha. Yeah. I know. It's, they also have a big thing in the corner. It says pre-alpha footage. Pre 
Look at they got that grills. Nice looking one right there. This that is nice. That screenshot right there with who is that? Is that no, that's Jeffrey Reinhardt? Yeah, it is. That's Jeffrey Reinhardt. Okay, so yeah, that's the best looking screenshot yet because the lighting in that looks pretty good. Yeah, like, and really you can see the day, details like, on the fence too, mm -hmm. and even the dude on the Sunoco sign. See, see if, if, if NASCAR well, Heat looked like thing. that, I wouldn't be. Bad. This is great. Well, they even have the well, camera yeah. on the zero. I love this. Well, that's the thing. Um, we have to take this into consideration that these are like promotional images, like. I almost doubt that these won't look that good in promotional like, images. Paint. Look at this. Yeah, this. This could be. Yeah, he's right. These could be doctored up. A... I certainly hope so. I, I mean, hope, like, I hope they aren't doctored. It's like when I look at my like replay footage on Heat Three, is like the quality of it isn't nearly as good as like the promotional stuff they had. Yeah. Like, like it's just Heat Three. I've never actually played it, but it just looks so milky. It's so like weirdly washed out. I don't know. It's. It doesn't look as yeah, good as it does for I, sure. I know. That's all I've yeah, got. Like right there, yeah, like right there. Like the, just some about it looks off. Yeah, this looks like an actual screenshot from the game. This has the milk. Like, look at that. Oh, jeez. Milk. <laughs> look at that. Look at, look at how milky this looks. What do you mean? What is milky? <laughs> look at it. It's it's just... Look at the JPEGiness in the oh, background. The background. Like, look at the whoa. trees. Oh. Yeah, zoom into the trees. Like, get that oh, yeah. screenshot and um, zoom into oh, the trees. Oh. That's somebody's, like, replay thumbnail. Yeah, thing that, this, this, is, this is what, what the game really looks, looks like. like. This is yeah. what the promotional <laughs> screenshots look like. Yeah, it's like, that's Do the you thing, see like, the right? milk? Look oh, at that. Full circle. It's not really the graphics that matter. We got to get the physics bumped up this year. Like, yeah, if the ping pong... I, I literally... If the ping pong really physics are still there, then... Well, if, the, if we if we can still ping pong, I I quit. Like I'm not. I, even, no, I, I mean there's that too. But I swear, if they still have like the caution like on the white flag that doesn't end the race, I will probably just die. I <laughs> two games and they still haven't fixed an issue that's so stupid. It's so uh, basic. Like it's well, just those are the well, rules. Literally are we gonna ignore that sport. NASCAR the game 2011 looks better than NASCAR Heat 4? NASCAR 08 looks better than NASCAR Heat 4. Like, look, go go look at that Jimmy Johnson image from NASCAR 2011 right up there. That literally looks better. The thing that bothers me almost more than the ping ponging is the wall stickiness. If you hit the wall like sharper than like 10 degrees, you just come to a dead stop. I hate that. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, in the, 20, hit a wall? the 2019 rules package, <laughs> they started applying glue to the walls because, yeah. Well, the, the thing that makes me nervous, the more promotional information that comes out about this, it's more streamlined and it's focused on like an enhanced career mode, better sound and better graphics. It it's doesn't touch vague. on the gameplay. Like it doesn't. It's so vague. Like listening to the community feedback everybody kind of was consistent about what they wanted to feel yeah. in the game as opposed to what we're getting honestly i'm fine with the graphics like of nascar heat 3. no I... my problem no it's well i mean i don't it doesn't bother me too much i just want the thing to just run a consistent decent now this... 30 frames with like <laughs> oh my it's and like less interlacing issues and jagged edges and yes. things you build up yeah. and yep. as you yep, I, I agree. I agree. The interlacing is so unbelievable, especially when you're trying to get a thumbnail and half the screen is like cut. Yeah. yeah. yeah oh, like screen tearing? Before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the screen tearing. <laughs> this is so disgusting. Yeah, these Gross. images right here need to be addressed. Can we talk about this? <laughs> How can they not these are notice? screenshots from like the announcement trailer of the game. You know how many and these cars were to... stopped on the track too. That was all. This one, I, I I didn't realize. I cut this off. Someone commented later. This is the BK Racing car on the left, and the Ricky Benton car on the right. Like what? These are two I teams love, that aren't the... like aren't. And this is the Casey Kane car too. It's. Like, I love they the, didn't like, even the, try. The Mustang tail lights with the Fusion decal. <laughs> yeah, it's it. so funky. I love how obvious it is though. Like they don't even care. It's like, front like... and center. Like, it's oh, right what? there. That's bad. I, I, I mean, mean, and the fact that they're from the previous year. Like, they're cars that won't even, right. even be it's in like, the game. Yeah. It's, like, also, like, there's, in the trailer, there's this one final clip of Matt Domino, like, destroying the wall. That's a big nut, by the way. But, um, you see, you see <laughs> Wait, the Wait, isn't a six car technically Kenseth, dude? No, it's Trevor Bain. Well, it says, it says Royals. Bain on the banner. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> Yeah, go to the go to the final shot in the trailer, and you'll get to see. I forgot who it was spinning, but like, 
All right, like, look, it's AJ. It's Allen Dinger. It's, it is. It's AJ Allen Dinger spinning. I know. Danica Patrick. Is that Danica? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Where is this? Is this Texas? Oh my god. It's Atlanta. It's Atlanta. Yeah, it's Atlanta. Oh, that's Atlanta. Danica Patrick in the seven and Atlanta. Never even raced there in that car, but okay. Literally, it's been almost two years <laughs> since Danica raced that car. Pre alpha, guys. It doesn't even say pre alpha. Wait, oh, this hey, is the. the right. Wait, no, there's the right That's car. This Benedetto. is the Benedetto car. Wait, why was Casey Kane here then? Why is he <laughs> there? <laughs> The if they man? have what that car, why is this here? <laughs> oh my god, 704. What are what you doing? Mess, hey, there's McMurray. That's the 40, right? Yeah, that's yeah, the 40. Yeah, yeah, at that's Charlotte. Charlotte. With well, the yellow fair, wall still. Yellow wall. Makes, that's makes been white for like a oh, year yeah, now. Oh yeah, it's been white for a year too. Oh my god. Wait a minute, wait a minute, real fast, yeah, real fast. The this surface kinda... at Auto Club looks more realistic though. That's yeah. more it's more realistic to where Can you go back to Bristol real fast? Can you go back to the like Bristol? Darker. That that shot, the track looks really decent, but the cars look like crap. Yeah, the cars Yeah, this is also like... this is terrible compression. The track I'm hoping video. that some of this I'm honestly hoping that this is like pre alpha stuff and it gets cleaned up as the Oh, uh, game oh it drives. better. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Cause... Hey, does the does the discount tire car have white rims in real life? No, it does not. Yeah, that's what I'm... Wait, I'm half what? expecting the words pre-alpha to be on the oh, final oh, release. Like, right. I want game. you to, to clarify, like, to the viewers, like, what, what, is, uh, what, what, what is compression? Go back. What is compression yeah, on here? Yeah. If you look at the Auto Club picture, you can see there's just mad motion blur. And the fact that, like, those pixels are moving, like, it can well, sort of... At... Anything that's staying still, it can copy that data and leave it over in the next frame. But when you got stuff that's moving, it has to change that Dan data. And Danica's look at how in that frame too. bad yeah, these Danica's are. Danica's in the back there. Danica's like yeah, you in the back. Oh, <laughs> I gotta, do they have this on YouTube? Because There she is again. Twitter one's bad. That's still on YouTube. She's so. at Bristol. Yeah, she's at Bristol. <laughs> is Danica Patrick in every single... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it on. almost no. feels like every shot. <laughs> Danica? Yeah, she is, you can see her in the back. You can see her back there. Alright, alright. Oh, I don't see Danica. Oh. Yeah, of course she's not in the front. Damn it. This is literally the same <laughs> of course she's not from before. <laughs> this might be her POV. Is that BK here. Racing right there? Yeah, that's BK Racing. That that's is, isn't it? That's the 23 whatever. Oh what's, what's behind them? What's that black one on the right? I don't know. Premium, that might premium, be a premium. premium, premium. It's premium. It's the 15. Yeah. No, okay. but is it? What's this then? Yeah, yeah I don't know that I've seen a stellar premium. Car I think yet it's either. two premium cars. Yeah, it's, it's the 15 and 55. Okay. All right. Can you go to the Bristol shot real fast? There's Danica. Yeah. There's Danica at Auto Club. There's, and then there's Bristol. Danica at Bristol. Real fast, real fast. So you got... You got... Right. Is that... That's Bowman's current car, right? Yeah, that's Bowman. I think so, yeah. Check out the pack racing No Danica Bristol, here. Though. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> they can't do it at Daytona, but they can do it at Bristol. There's the, there's the Earth Water yeah. car. <laughs> BK hey, Racing. What's in front of, wait, 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 wait. What's in front of the BK Racing car? What was in front of that? Uh, that might be know. the 96, maybe. It's a white Camaro. Okay, yeah, it looks a... like it might be Gaunt Brothers. No, it's a, Danica's that's a Camry. Literally, Danica's literally yeah, like in five shots Camry, in the that? trailer. That's the same. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did he jump here. to the right? What? Yeah, that's what I was looking yeah, at, too. What is, that was quite the change of direction right there. Whoop! Before, before the contact was made. Yeah. He was yeah. Maybe that's yeah, like, yeah. maybe that's what? like, that they'll be, like, if you push the AI or the like, the corner, they will, like, go to the right. Maybe. They have, like, bailout physics. I don't That's make like sense. Car. What's that, wait a minute. What's that blue car up there? Go back to the... Which I'm car? Trying to figure out. This? No, that I might think be Blusher. Blusher. That looks like a Bubba car. That might it? be the... I was going to say... It looks like, like the WWT, Blue the Blue. the Worldwide Technology Bubba car. Uh, the this car. That, yeah. Yeah, the Charlotte. That car. Uh, so right, Danica's right. literally like in five shots. Hold on. <laughs> Let's count the Danicas real dude, quick. Dude, can you one imagine Danica if she's one of... The Oh, see, this is looking from the front. She's in the back, yeah, and yeah, now we're like halfway right. up. So she's behind this. Yeah. Can you can you imagine if she's one of the legends unlockable cars? <laughs> Two, Two Danicas. Three, three Danicas. Four, four Danicas. Four. <laughs> four, <laughs> four total. Who is that? This almost feels like a mix that's, of like that's a twenty. That's like gone Brendan, again. Yeah, yeah. Brendan gone. Yeah. What a. Also, like a this is the I, announcement trailer. I can't believe this. And they reposted this. up on their YouTube channel, like, again, when the trailer came. Also, I applaud 
704 games for making Matt Benedetto destroy the wall. Thank you. Well, here, here's one of my things. They've got this really, it's a cool deal. The gold edition game with Jeff Gordon. You can play as Jeff Gordon. Why didn't the end of the trailer tease like whatever that card oh, is? Oh, there's another one that has that. Like it has like an extra preview image at the very, very end. Do you know All what right. the horribly, horribly sad realization is? As garbage as that game looks, as much as they've butchered the marketing and the research and development and improving the game, we're all still going to buy it. Uh, <laughs> That's yeah. the sad thing. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I, yeah, like um, in the, the preview or in the official like trailer thing, like at the very end, it talks about the, the gold cover and like that's like a... It's right after like yeah, but I'm, I'm talking about i want to see the uh, as a as a marketing person i want to see the car on the track i want to see like i want to see what that thing looks like i, I want to get hyped like just give me a split second of the 24 uh with the whatever the is it gonna be is. a camaro yeah yeah it's gonna be a camaro or... well, that's what i'm curious about yeah. like what 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 era car is this it's gonna just be? a left it's just a, it's just a <laughs> left arm william byron car from my show okay? no oh my god Imagine you roll up in the Gen 4 DuPont 24 in like the Cup Series race. Oh my god. Well, that's what I'm serious. Like, it could be that. Like, that would be so awesome. They though. can't model a grill on the damn cars. Are they going to model another body? It's a whole other chassis, too. Maybe that's their way of implementing the KN series, huh? <laughs> Putting in the Gen 4 cars. There you go. Well, so to summarize, we need a little bit more confidence coming from uh, the marketing department at 704 to get us excited and uh, yeah, confident for this release. I, like just, it, uh... I just want less jank. Like, <laughs> I, they can't take the time to, to not put Trevor Bain in the front of this screenshot just to get oh, a full more field more... of cars. That just, that just more more opening scenes. It makes no sense. Danica, that's either that's shots. either extreme incompetence or just laziness. Or a team that's like or... pushed to put out promotional footage that they're not actually ready to make. Yeah, I mean that's or what I was gonna say earlier love. when What If was talking earlier. I mean this all just seemed, seemed kind of okay. rushed because. Okay, 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 okay. We got a handful of designers and creators in here. Would you honestly? Would you put in the extra time to make sure that 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 Trevor Bain car would not be in the shot. I think yes. we all could agree. I would go out of my way to make sure I don't see something very, it's like, it's literally, so blatant. It's, it's up to, it's shot. at that point, literally all you have to do is reskin that car real fast and you're ready to go. Yeah, 100%. the Trevor Bain car. What about the four Danica ones? Yeah, just put something else on <laughs> or just, or just don't put her in yeah, the grid like, when you're making like, literally, unless it's a full put, field shot. Putting oh in God. just like blank filler cars, like just a plain yellow car, plain blue car would be better than that you know i thought i don't know why they didn't even show like martinsville night and then the jeff gordon car like that's if they're gonna... that was the big deal right like that's what they're trying to promote yeah it's, it's like how are you gonna how are you gonna make this a big deal and then not even just showcase it in the trailers well I mean, yeah they want us to spend extra money but they don't show us what we're spending whatever, yeah. our money on <laughs> like what version of this jeff gordon car are we talking about i mean it literally could be any era hypothetically speaking we don't really know until we buy yeah, uh, honestly, I feel like they'll do what What If said, and it'll just be like a reskin William Byron car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's it's the same base, right? It's almost well, exactly the same. It's, it's, it's almost the same. car from last year, right? Yeah, literally, all they'd have to do is change the the blue from to like change that blue to black, and it'd be a Jeff Gordon car from twenty like twenty fifteen. Seven hundred four games. If you're if you're listening. Hire me. I'll paint your cars and just give me a copy of the game. Like, you guys clearly strapped for getting these paint schemes out. I'll help you. They only have, like, one person doing all this, all right? <laughs> Stop. Oh, my God, dude. I love drive throughs mentality. Hey, I just made a podcast with 15 minutes of shitting on your game. But now that I said that, if you're willing to hire me, Look, I'd love to hey, help paint for you guys. you're in a bad situation. I get it. I understand. Let's work together. We'll make something happen. Oh, oh. Okay, well, we, we see a lot of parallels with all the other sport games, like specifically Madden and how it's copy and paste. If they put out a hype video of a roster from years ago, like, no one, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. I agree. Like, yeah. and, and I think it's entirely right to be like, hey, I'm a NASCAR fan and I think I deserve more. Well, yeah, it's like they always that's it's it, it bugs me because every time you try to jump on 704, their army of cronies will come to their defense talking oh about, God. oh, man, oh, man, guys, it's a small team, please. It's a they, small it's team, like man. the same people that defended like, imagine being a games. paid spokesperson imagine being an unpaid spokesperson for this. 
honestly. Like, I try not to openly shit on the game, but I mean, when it's just as openly lazy as that, then you, you kind of put yourself in a box there. Okay, so we, we've absolutely t taken a steaming dump on Heat 4 <laughs> for a good, like, 45 minutes now. Rightfully so. <laughs> well, one one final comment I right, want to get right, in. The, the the big thing I noticed is all your leading creators, your influencers, yeah, content creators, they're being critical of the 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 game, and kind of rightfully so. So then the whole community, the people that are going to buy this game, the younger generation, they see they see these leaders and influencers kind of critique it, and they pick up on it too. So that's why it's so important to kind of show what's new and improved for your your upcoming game. And they haven't it's their really. Fourth game, like they got yeah. it. Right. They yeah, got it's... it. Like... They got to at least tell us what they've done. Yeah, like, they really haven't even done that. Like all I've ever heard, like all I've heard is just things that, like I'm sure they will. So has told me, like I'm sure they like that's the thing. Like we're them. just like I'm sure they will, but like at this moment in time, we're like we have nothing to go on to be like hyped about. Yeah, I know. I have like honestly, I don't have that much hype. Like it's. My hype levels are pretty close to zero, and I—I I mean, it's now, this is their know, fourth game it's not too. Good. Like, this is their fourth game too. Like, I think a lot of people have a very justifiable reason to have like no faith in them at this point. I know. I hope I'm wrong. I hope it turns out to be. Oh, absolutely. I agree. Enjoyable. I, agree. I want to have fun with it. I 100 percent do too. Ten years, baby. We're locked in. <laughs> Ten years. Yep. See y'all in 2030 when. They probably re-sign another 10 years. <laughs> or when NASCAR no longer exists. Hopefully I'll be dead by then. <laughs> God damn. Hi, everyone. Thank you for listening to episode 0.2 of The Outlap. Eventually, we're going to get to integers, but for now, these are still test episodes. They're going public on YouTube, but I want episode number one to be available on a whole bunch of podcasting platforms. And I need your help. I need you guys to support this show. We need to get more people involved. I want to reach a bigger audience and just be able to share stories and insight and uh, I guess whatever crazy findings we come across. So please, please, please like this video, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, tell me why you didn't like it. I mean, is your attention span too short? That's okay. It's 2019. It happens. All right. Look, I appreciate you getting here. Even if you skim to the end, thank you so much for supporting this fun little project. If you want to support the other people who are involved in the outlap, there are links all up in the description box. I guarantee you they are fantastic, funny people, and that's why they're on the show. If you want the Outlap to keep on going or to move onwards and upwards, please show your support. Thank you very much again for listening, and I will see you all next week. Maybe it'll be episode 0.3. Maybe it'll be episode 1. I, I honestly haven't decided yet.